infinite math mathematicians have expanded category theory into infinite dimensions enabling new conceptions among sophisticated mathematical concepts by Emily Rill. Emily Rill is a mathematician at Johns Hopkins University where she works on category theory and the foundations of infinity categories. Her book Elements of Infinity Category Theory, co-authored with Dominic Verity, will be published in 2022 by Cambridge University Press. On the Crips Fall near England Day, during my junior year of college, I was working past a, I was working past a subway in Terence where, when a math problem caught my eye. A man was standing near a few brain teasers. He has scribbled on the wall, one of which asks for the construction with an imaginary stretch edge and compass of a cube with a volume twice at the with a volume twice that a different a different given cube. This stopped me in my tracks. I had seen this problem before. In fact, the challenge is more than two millennia old, attributed to Plato by way of Plutarch. A stretch edge can be used to extend a line segment in any direction, and a compass can be used to draw a circle with any, any radius from the chosen center. To, the catch for this particular puzzle is that any points or lengths appear in the final drawing must have, must have been either present at the start of constructable from, from previously provided, provided information. To double a cube volume, you start with its side, with its side length. Here that, here that value might as well be 1 because it is the only, only unit of measurement given. To construct the larger cube, you have to figure out a way to draw to draw one of its sides with a cube with the new required length, which is the cube root of two. Just you just use the straight edge and compass as tool, as tools. It is a tough problem. For more than twenty for more than twenty two thousand years, no one managed to solve it. Finally, in nineteen thirty seven, Pierre Laurent Wenzel explained why no one has why no one has succeeded by proving that it was impossible. His proof using his proof used cutting edge mathematics of the time, the foundations of which were led by his friend's contemporary Evariste Galois, who died at twenty in a duel in a duel that may have involved an unhappy love affair at the ripe old at the ripe at the ripe old age of 20 myself, I have I had achieved considerably less impressive mathematical accomplishment, but I but I at least but I at least understood once a problem. But I at least understood once a proof. Here is the idea: given a point as the origin and the length of distance one, it is relatively straightforward to use the straight edge. And compass to construct all points on a number line on a number line whose coordinates are rational numbers. Ignoring, as a mathemat as a mathematicians tend to do, the impossibility of actually plotting infinitely my, my po many points in only a finite amount of time. One cell showed that if one uses only these tools, each newly constructed point must be a solution to a quadratic polynomial equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, whose coefficients a, b, and c are among the previously constructed points. In contrast, the point cube root of two is a solution to the cubic polynomial x x to the third minus two equals zero, and Galois theory, and Galois theory of field extensions proves decisively that you can never get the solution to an reducible cubic polynomial by solving quadratic equations, essentially because no power of two evenly divides the number three. Armed with these facts. 
I could not re restrain myself from engaging with the man on the street. Pre predictably, my attempt to explain how I knew his problem could not be solved did not, did not really go anywhere. Instead, he claimed that my education had left me close-minded and unable to think outside the box. Eventually, my girlfriend managed to extric extricate me from the argument and we continue it on our way. But an interesting question rem remains. How was I, a stillwet behind the ears, undergraduate undergraduate in my third year of university study, able to learn to comfortably manipulate uh, abstract number systems such as Galois, Galois prefilts in just a few short weeks? These materials came at the end of course filled with symmetry groups and related tracers that would have they would have blown the, blown the mind the minds of mathematical giants such as Isaac Newton, Gottfried Leibniz, Leonhard Euler, and Carl Friedrich Gauss. How is it that mathematicians can quickly teach every new generation of undergraduates discoveries that astonish the previous ge gener generations experts? Part of the answer has to do with recent developments in mathematics that provide a, a, bird, a bird's eye view of the field through ever increasing level of abstraction. Category theory is a branch of mathematics that explains how distinct mathematical objects can be considered the same. Its fundamental theorem tells us that any mathematical object, no matter how complex, it entirely determined by its relationships to similar objects. Through category theory, we teach young we teach the mathematica the we teach mathem young mathematicians the latest ideas by using general rules that apply broadly to categories across mathematics rather than drilling down to individual laws that apply only in single area. As mathematics continues to evolve, Mathematician sense of trend to things are the same has, has expanded. In the past few decades, many other researchers and, and I have been working on extension of category theory to make sense of this new expanded notions of notion of uniqueness. These new categories called infinity cat, called infinity categories broaden category theory to infinity in dimension. The language of infinity categories gives, mat gives mathematicians powerful tools to study problems in which relations, in which relations between, between objects are to nuance, it, nuance to be defined in, uh, in traditional categories. The perspective of zooming out to infinity offers a novel way to think about all concepts and a path toward the discovery of new ones. Categories Like many other mathematicians I know, I was drawn into the subject partly because of my, because of my poor memory. This confounds many people. Remember high school mathematicians as life with formulas to memorize the trigonometry identities come to mind, but I took comfort in the fact that the most commonly used formulas could be re could be re derived from sine sine square theta plus cos square theta equals one, which itself has an has an elegant geometric explanation. It is an it is an application of the Pythagorean theorem to a right triangle with a with a hypotenuse of length one and a good angle of t degrees. This utopian, visions, this utopian vision of mathematics where everything just makes sense and nothing needs to be memorized falls apart to some extent to at the university level. At that point, students get to know of the zoo of mathematical objects that have been construed into existence in the past few centuries. Groups, rings, and fit belong to belong to an area of mathematics known as, as algebra, a word derived from 
a ninth at nin century book by Persian mathematician and astronomer Muhammad ibn Musa al Khwarizmi, the title of which is sometimes translated as the science of restoring and balancing. Over, over the next millennium, algebra evolved from the study of the nature of solutions to, pot, to polynomial equations to the study of abstract number. Because no real number x satisfies the equation x squared plus 1 equals 0, mathematicians built a new number system, now known as the complex numbers by adding an imaginary number i and imposing the stipulation that i squared plus 1 equals 0. Algebra is only one of the subjects in a mathematics undergraduate curriculum. Other cornerstones include, include topology, the abstract study, the abstract study of space and analysis, which, be, which begins with a rigorous treatment of the calculus of real functions before, branch, before branching into, into the more exotic terrains of probability space, spaces and random examples, and complex manifold and holomorphic function, function, functions. How is a student supposed to make, to make sense of it, all, of it all? A paradoxical idea in mathematics is that of simplification to abstraction. As, you, as Eugenia Cheng puts in, as Eugenia Cheng puts it in the arts of logistic in an illogical world, a powerful aspect to abstraction is that many different situations become the same when you forget some de when you forget some details. Modern algebra was created in the early 20th, 20th century when the mat when mathematicians decided to unify the studies of the main examples of algebraic study of, of algebraic structure that arose in the consideration of solutions to polynomial equations or of or of configurations of features in the plane to connect investigations of those structures researchers in the in the identified axioms that describe the con the common properties groups rings and fields were introduced to, to the mathematical universe along with the idea that an that a mathematical object could be described in terms of the properties it of the properties it has and explored abstractly independently of the scaffolding of particular examples or construction. John Houghton Conway famously, con po po famously pondered the curious ontology of mathematical things. There is no doubt that they do exist, but you can but you can poke and put them exceptly except by thinking about them. It's quite aston astonishing and I still do not and I still don't understand it, despite having having been a mathematician all my life. How can things be how can things be there without actually be, being be, being there? But this world of mathematical objects that can exist without actually being there created a problem. Such a world is vastly too large for any person to comprehend. Even within algebra, there are just too many mathematical things to study for there to be time to make sense of them all. Around, around the turn of the 20th century, 20th century, mathematicians began to investigate so-called universal algebra, referring to a set, which could be a collection of symmetries of numbers in some system of something else entirely, together with various operations. For instance, addition and multiplication satisfying a list of relevant axioms such as associate such as associatively associativity commutativity or distributivity distributivity by making different choices is an operation parti parti partially or, or totally defined is it invertible one arrives the, at the standard algebraic structures the groups rings and fields but the subject is not constrained by these choices, which represent a vanishingly small portion of an infinite array of possibilities. The proliferation of new abstract mathematical objects 
brings its own complexity. One way to simplify is to introduce a further level of abstraction where, aston astonishingly, we can prove theorems about a, about a wide variety of mathematical objects simultaneously without, specifi without spe specifying exact exactly what kinds of, of, of objects we are talking about. Category theory, which was created in 1940s by Samuel Eilenberg and Saunders McLan, does justice. Although it was originally introduced to give a rigorous definition of the colloquial term natural equivalence, it also offers a way to think universally about universal algebra and other areas of mathematics as well. With Eilenberg and Mark Lenz language, we can now understand that every variety of mathematical object belongs to its own category, which is a specific collection of objects together with a set of transformations depicted as, as, depicted as a rows between the objects. For example, in linear algebra, one studies abstract vector, vector spaces such as three-dimensional Euclidean space. The corresponding transformations, in this case, are called linear transformations and each must have a specific source and target vector space indicating which kinds of vectors arise as inputs and outputs. Like functions, the transformations in a category can be, comp can be composed, meaning you can, you can apply one transformation to the results of, an of, an of another transformation. For any pair of transformation F is a transformation from A to B, and G is a transformation from B to C. The category specific, the, the category specifies a unique composite transformation written as written, written as G compose F is a transformation from A to C. Finally, this composition law is associative, meaning each composition, each compose, compose, G compose F equals H compose G compose F. It is also unital. Its object, its object B, has identity. It, it is also unital. Each object B has an identity transformation, commonly denoted by one B, with the property that. G compose one B equals G and one B compose F is equals F. For any transformations G and F whose source and who, whose source and target respect, re, respectively equals B. How do categories help the helpless undergraduate confronted confronted with with too many mathematical objects and not enough time to learn about them all? Any class of structures you can define in the universal, universal algebra may be distinct from all other objects, but the categories this ob, but the categories these objects inhabit are very similar in ways that can be expressed precisely through categorical categorical language. With sufficient experience, mathematicians can know what what to expect when. What to expect when they encounter a new type of algebraic structure? This idea is reflected in a modern textbooks of the subject that developed the, the developed the, that developed the theories of groups, rings, and vector space in series. Essentially, because the, the theories are parallel, there are other looser analogies among these categories and the and the one students encounter in topology or analysis courses, and the similarities enable them to absorb the new material more quickly. Such patterns allow students to spend more time exploring the, speci the special topics that distinguish individual mathematical subdisciplines. Mathematical subdisciplines, although research advances in mathematics are often inspired by new and surprising analogies between previously unconnected areas. Symmetries The cascading levels of attraction from concrete mathematical structure 
to axiom to axiomatic systems and then beyond and then beyond the general objects that belongs to categories present a new challenge it is no longer very clear what it means to say that one thing is the same as another thing consider for instance a group which in math in an abstract collection of symmetries whose the whose elements Ami Wilkinson of the University of Ki Chicago likes to describe as moves that flip on that flip or return an object before settling it into something like the original position. For example, we might explore the symmetries of the of a t-shirt. One symmetry can be thought of as the identity move, when a person simply wears the t-shirt as its usual one. Another symmetry corresponds to a move to a move where the wearer where the wearer takes the arms out of the arms holes and with the t-shirt with the t-shirt still around the, their neck, rotates the t rotate the t-shirts 180 degrees to put their arms in the opposite holes. The t-shirt remains right side out, right side out, but is not being worn back, back one. Another symmetry corresponds to a move where where the t-shirt is removed entirely, flip inside out, and put back on the, in such a way that each arm goes through the hole it was originally in. The t-shirt is now inside. Uh, the t-shirt is now inside out and backward. The uh, final symmetry combines these two moves. Uh, uh, typically for groups, these moves can be performed in any other without changing the end result. Each of these four moves, each of these four moves, counts as a symmetry because the the result in the third in the third being one is essentially the same way as when you started. Another group is the matrix flipping group, which describes the symmetries of a matrix. In addition to the entity move, which applies when the matrix is left in its original position, a person can move the matrix by rotating it top to bottom by rotating it top to bottom, flipping back to front, or performing both moves in sequence. Matrices typically are not square, but if they were, there would be more symmetries than describes than described here. Although a t-shirt does not have much to do with a matrix, there is a sense in which the two symmetry groups have the same shape. First, both groups of symmetries have the same number of moves, in this case, 4. And crucially, you can pair each move in this group with a move in the matrix flipping group such that the compositions of corresponding moves also correspond. In, ad, in other words, you can match. You, in, other, in other words, you can match up moves from the two groups match the identity with the identity, the flipping with the flip, the rotation with the rotation, and so on. Se second, if you take two moves from one group and perform them in sequence, the final position will match with the, with the, with the end result of performing the corresponding moves from the other group in sequence. In technical terms, these groups are connected by an isomorphism, a term whose etymology from the Greek isos mean equal and morphe meaning form and in, in indicates its meaning. We can define the notion of isomorphism in any category which allows us to transport the, this concept between mathematical contexts. An isomorphism between two objects A and B in a category it, give, it given by a pair transformations uh, which given transformation F transform A to B and B transform B to A to A with the probability that the composition G compose F and F compose G equal the respective identities IA and IB, 1A and 1B. In the category of, topo of topological spaces, the categorical notion of isomorphism is, represent is represented by an inverse pair of, of continuous functions. For instance, 
there is a continuous deformation that will allow you to convert and unbake donut into a shape like a coffee mug, like, like a coffee book. The donut hole, be, the donut hole becomes at the handle, and the cup is formed by the by the pressure you make it you make with your thumb. From the, the from the deformation to be continuous, you must do this without tearing the dough, the the dough. Which is which is why the donut should not be baked before the experiment is attempted. This example inspired the joke that a topologist cannot tell the different bit, difference between a coffee mug and a don and, and a donut and abstract species. These objects are the same. In practice, many topologists are agreeably much less observant than this because it is common to adopt a more flexible convention concerning the situations when two species are the same. Identifying any two species that are merely homotopy equivalent. This term ref refers to the notion of isomorphism in the more exotic homotopy category of species. A homotopy equi equivalence is another type of continuous deformation, but in this case, you can identify distinct position, distinct po po points. For instance, imagine for instance, imagine starting with a pair of pants and then shrinking the grains of the legs until you are left with a G-string, another space with the same fundamental topological structure. There are still two, ho two holes for legs, even though the original two-dimensional garment has been shrunk down to a, to a one-dimensional bit of string. Another homotopy equivalence collapses the, the infinite Expense, expanse of three-dimensional Euclidean space, e e three-dimensional Euclidean space, down to a single point with via a re via a reverse Big Bang, in which its point flies back to its origin, with the with the speed of this motion increasing with the distance from the location of the initial Big Bang. The intuition, the intuition that we can substitute isomorphic things. For, uh, for one another without fundamentally changing the nature of a construction of an argument is so strong that, in fact, category theories have rede has redefined the word the to meaning something closer to a in colloquial English. For, exam for example, there is a concept known as the, dis as the disjoint union of two sets, two sets A and B. Like the, ori like the ordinary uh, union, the disjoint union A, A union B has a copy of every element of A and a copy of element B and a copy of every element of B. Unlike in the ordinary union, however, if A and B have an element in, con in common, then the disjoint union A union B has two copies of that element, one of which somehow remembers that it came from, from A and the other somehow remembers it came from B. There are many different ways to construct the disjoint union using the axioms of set theory, which, which will not produce exactly the same set but will necessarily produce isomorphic, isomorphic ones. Rather than wasting time arguing about which, contra which contraction is the most canonical, it is more convenient to just sweep this ambiguity under the rug and refer to the disjoint union when one means to consider any particular set that satisfies the desired universal property. In another example, mathematicians refer to both the t set symmetry group and the matrices and the matrix flipping group as the, the Klein four group. Infinite dimensional categories. An off an off thought story about the origin of the fundamental theory of category theory is that a young mathematician named Nobuo Yoneda described a lemma or helper theorem to make land at the Gare du Nord train station in Paris 1954. Yoneda began explaining the lemma on the platform and continued it on the train before it departed the station. The consequence of this lemma is that any object in any category is entirely determined by its relation to the other to the other objects 
in the category as encoded by the transformations or to uh, to or from this this object so we can characterize a topological space x by probing it with continuous function f ft to x mapping out other spaces t for instance the point of this the point of the space x correspond to continuous function x maps scar to x whose domain is whose domain is a space with a single point we can answer the question of whether the space x is contented or disconnected by considering by considering mapping p p maps i to x whose domain is an interval i i equals 0 1 each such mapping this defines a parameterized path in the space x from the point p0 to the point p1 which can be thought as a possible trajectory on an trajectory and end might and might take when walking around the space x we can use this we can use the points and the paths of a space to translate problems of topology into problems of algebra its topological space x has an associated category p1x called the fundamental group point of x the objects of this category are the points of the space and and the transformations are paths if one path can deform in can deform into another in the space where its end points remain fixed the two paths the two paths define the same transformation these deformations which are technically called homotopies are necessary for the composition of paths to define an associative operation as it requires by a category a key advantage of the fundamental group point construction is that it is functional meaning that a continuous function f maps x to y between topological spaces give gives rise to a corresponding transformation pi 1 f maps pi 1 x to pi 1 y between the fundamental group points this assignment respects composition and identity and identities meaning pi 1 g compose f equals pi 1 g compose pi 1 f and pi 1 1 x equals 1 pi 1 x respectively these two properties which collectively go by the name function by the name fun functoriality suggest that the fundamental group captures some essential information about topological spaces in particular if two spaces are not homotopy equivalent then the fundamental group points are necessary in in, equi in equivalent the fundamental the fundamental group point is not a complete invariant however it can easily distinguish between a cycle and the solid disk that cycle bounds if the fundamental group point of the cycle of the cycle the different wiggling frictions of a path between two points can be labeled by integers that record it, that record the number of times the, tra the trajectory winds around the cycle and a plus or minus sign indicating respectively a clockwise or counterclockwise direction of transit in contrast in the fundamental group point of the disk there's only one path up to homotopy between any pair of points the fundamental group point of the spaces of the space from the in inflatable exterior of a bench of a beach ball a sphere in topological terms also has this description there is a unique there is a unique path up to homotopy between any two points the big problem with the fundamental group point is that points and paths do not detect do not detect the higher dimensional structure of a spaces of a space because the point and interval are themselves zero and one dimensional respectively a solution is to all a, sol a, a solution is to also consider continuous functions from the two-dimensional disk called homotopies and higher homotopies defined by continuous functions from the solid three-dimensional ball and similarly 
from the from other balls in five in four five six or more dimensions it is natural to ask what kind of algebra of algebraic structure of points paths homotopies and higher homotopies homotop in a space x form the structure pi infinity x referred to a to us the fundamental infinity group point of x defines an example of an infinity category an infinite in dimension analog to the categories first introduced by Eilenberg and MacLean. like an ordinary category an infinity category has objects and transformations visualized as one-dimensional arrows but it also contains higher transformations depicted by two-dimensional arrows three-dimensional arrows and so on for example in pi infinity x the objects and arrows are the points and the paths no longer considered up to wiggling while the higher dimensional transformations encode it encode the higher tomotopies like in an ordinary category the arrows in an any fixed dimension can be composed if we, if you have to arrows f maps x to y and g maps y to g to z to z there must be also a, an arrow g compose f maps x to x but there is a catch in attempts to capture a natural examples such as the fundamental infinity group point of a space the composition law must be wicked for any composable pair of arrows there must be ex there must exist a composite arrow but there is no longer a but there is no longer a unique specified compost arrow this failure of uniqueness makes it challenging to define infinity categories in the classical set based foundations of mathematics because we can no longer think of composition as an operation resembling those appearing in the in universal algebra although infinity categories are increasingly central to modern research in many areas of mathematics from quantum field theory to algebraic geometry to algebraic topology they they are often considered too hard for all but spe for all but specialists and are not for and are not featured regularly in curricula even at the graduate level nevertheless many other nevertheless many others and i see and i see infinity infinity categories as a revolutionary new narration that can enable mathematicians to dream of new connections that would otherwise have been impossible to rigorously state and prove the future horizon historical experience judges suggests however that the most exotic mathematics of today will eventually be thought of as easy enough to teach to, to teach to mathematics undergraduates in the future it is fun to speculate as a researcher in infinity category theory about how this subject could be simplified in this case there is a linguistic trick a super change version of the categorical the that could make infinity categories uh, as easy as easy for late 21st century undergraduates to think about as ordinary categories are today the key axiom in an ordinary category is the existence of a unique composite of transforming g compose f maps x to z of its composable pair of transformations f maps x to a to y and g maps y to z chosen from all the elements of the set of transformations from x to z in contrast in an infinity category there's there's a space of arrows leading from z from x to z which in the fundamental infinity group point can be understood as a kind of patch space the correct analog of the uniqueness of composites in an ordinary category is the assertion that in an infinity category the space of composites is contra contractible meaning that each of its point each of its points can be continuously collapsed collapsed via a reverse big bang to a single point of origin 
Note that contractibility does not imply that there is a unit composite. Indeed, as we have seen in the fundamental infinity group point, there can be a large number of composite paths. But contractibility, contractibility guarantees that any two composite paths are homotopic. Any two homotopies relating to composite paths are connected by a higher homotopy and so on. This idea of uniqueness as a type of contractability condition is a central one in the new foundation system for mathematics proposed by Vladimir Vovodsky and others. Mathematicians around the world are collaborating to develop the computer-based proof assistance that can check a formal proof of a mathematical result line by line. This proof assistance have a mechanics mechanism that mimics the component the common mathematical practice of transferring informa information about one thing to another thing that is that is understood to be the same uh, the same via an explicit isomorphism or homotopy equivalences equ equivalence. In this case, the market the mechanism allows the allows the user to transport a proof involving one point in a space along a path that connects it to any other point, giving a rigorous formulation of the top of the topological notion of sameness. In 1974, essay mathematician Mikhail Atiyah wrote, the aim, of the aim of theory really is, to a great extent, that of, that of systematically organizing past experience in, a, in such a way that the next generation of students and their students and so on will be able to absorb the essential aspects in the painless way as possible and this is the only way in which you can go on cumulatively building up any kind of scientific activity without eventually coming to a dead end. Category theory arguably plays in this place this role in ma modern mathematics. If mathematics is the science of analogy, the, study of, the study of patents, then category theory is the study of patents of mathematical thought, the mathematics of mathematics. If, as Junior Cheng of the School of the Art Institute of Chicago has put it, the reason that we can cover so much ground in an undergraduate course, course today is that our understanding of various mathematical concepts has been simplified through abstraction which might which might be thought of as the process of stepping back from the specific problem being considered and taking a broader view of mathematics. A lot of fine details are invisible from this level. Numerical approximate numerical approximations for instance or really anything having to do with number at all but it is a remarkable fact that theorems in algebra set theory topology and algebraic geometry sometimes are true for the same underlying reason and when this is the case these proofs are expressed in the language of category theory what is on the horizon of the future the emerging consensus in certain areas of mathematics is that the natural habitats of 21st century mathematical objects are infinity categories in the same way that 20th, uh, 20th, 20th century mathematical objects inhabit ordinary categories. The, the hope is that the desiring tower of a rose in its dimension that one needs to do deep work in an infinity category we at some point recede into the background of the collective mathematical subconscious with its comfortable space of choices collapsed down to a unique point and one can only wonder if this mass progress was made during the 20th century where will mathematics will be where will where will mathematics be at the end of 21st from our archives the three body problem Richard Montgomery, August 2019.